ow, morning, because it still is another busy day. So I haven't uh, done anything the last couple of days. So we went back, looked at the house. We Well, we is a very loose turn because Anthony didn't end up coming. He ended up working. So uh, it was the kids and I. And then we have been working on the loan. And someone had suggested to us to work with veterans something. Now I can't remember. It was veterans something mortgage. And... Um, but we didn't want to because we're worried about our credit being ran too much. And so um, we had originally declined and we were talking um, to who we are working with, which is Summit something. I'll have to look in a second. Anyways, they're actually working with us. Well, so on the way home, Anthony and I had an appointment yesterday. And then we came home. Well, uh, the one from Veterans had called us and basically was talking crap about the other company and how he could get it in 24 hours and all of this. And our case isn't just that easy. And he wanted to rerun our credit. And I was like, no, I'm good. Mm, excuse me. And so I, um, we just, he just kept mouthing off and running his mouth. And we just let him. And Anthony was like, well, maybe. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And he already knew we were working with a lender and whatnot. So um, I ran the name of his company in my email because I was like, I feel like I've talked to them. And we had Veterans First Mortgage. He had no idea that someone had already ran our credit from them. I told him when it was. So it was like last Friday kind of situation. It was like five days. And he argued and told me it was in May. I said, no, I have the email here. Gave him who ran it. They wouldn't even deal with us, like right off the bat. Uh, they just want, they don't want to do the work is how it's really coming off because Yes, it looks like we have a bunch of collections, but those collections are paid. I have proof of paid, letters, the whole nine. And I've asked each one of them with a good will, a good faith, good will letter to pull them off of the thre three credit bureaus. And actually something just fell off again today. So my score went up a little more. But... Um, they were not willing to deal with us. They said just call back in six months. And I'm not going to because fingers crossed we'll be in a home by then. Um, and then there was one local that um, one of Anthony's co-workers told him about. And he had used them and that guy has called repeatedly and I told him, hey, I'm working with someone, don't run our credit. Because I feel like we're going to be in the same boat again, is they're just going to see our numbers and go, no, we don't want to deal with you. But then they're, like, uh, different companies have different numbers. Like, one of them, and I think it was more the USA, or USA. Um, it was the other one. One of the other ones. God, I can't talk today. Hi, Tesla. Um, that had tried to tell me that our scores were under 500. And my score, my highest score is 604. And that's not, that's like a hard pull. 604. And so what they do for mortgages is, is they take the three major 
and they average them out and with my average we are still or I am still sitting at a 600 which is ideal of where you at least want to jump off at some lenders will deal with that some won't um, and then I think Anthony's on an eight something eight 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 oh my god he's at a 586 I believe I don't know I couldn't tell you right at the moment um, and then she she brought to attention that we did have a delinquent account and when we had deferred the student loans we thought that was included and it wasn't and so um, I just ended up paying it off it wasn't a, a exceptionally large loan so fine oh goodness anyway so that's what we're doing we're working she has all of the paperwork back I laughed because like last night she was like write a letter on what happened what you guys were going through at the time so I can give it to the lender and and so I did and then I was like make any tweaks send it back let me know so she sends it back she sent me back mine um, which was on accident there was something she did tweak it just ever so slightly she was she's been she's been really great you know last night it's like 1030 and I'm asking questions like I'm an, a rude client um, Anthony and I were talking if we if she gets us approved she totally has to come out she can stay with us I will cook her some meals as a thank you because she has she's been working and working and she's done more than anyone has done even our bank our bank was just an, an instant denial my big toe is killing me anyway and so um I was like hey this letter looks the same and she goes because I sent you the wrong one so she sent the new one we tore up the old one then I had to rescan it we ended up scanning like 30 pages almost to return to her and um, ouch yeah and so and then there was like uh an explanation which is nice because you look at someone's credit it isn't always cut and dry I can't get comfortable can you guys tell um it's you know hey what happened what really happened and most of the things on there say they're um in